Everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial and we are once again painting Druanti, the Arch Revenant. Yes, this one is going to be in the same style as the box art and the reason for that is because this is a Christmas present for my good friend Adam, otherwise known as ADR Wargaming, who has finally gotten bitten by the Age of Sigmar bug and, well, he's chosen the silver now. So, I thought for Christmas I would paint him up one of these and he wants it in the same style as the box art. Nice and green and blue and woody as per usual. So this is the second time this model appears on the channel, but it is a completely different version. This is the actual Druanti, the Arch Remnant. So the first color that we're going to be using is Gut Ripper Flesh and this has been primed in Wraithbone. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be painting this over the top of this leaf section back here the leafy branches and we're also going to be painting this over the top of the skirt now it seems like a bit of a weird place to start but there is a good reason for that because when we do the kind of wood parts of the bark it does this blend into the green but if we start with the wood it's going to be a little bit trickier to get it going whereas the wood is darker so what we're going to do is we're going to load up our brush with that gut ripper flesh and we're just going to paint this over the top of the hole of the branch up here, coming down. Into that rune, just there, like this. Get this over the rest of it. like that and of course we'll do the other side as well now as mentioned we're also going to be doing this over the top of the kind of leafy skirt as well but one thing to bear in mind is we've got this branch back here which also needs to have the gut ripper flesh applied to so we're just going to do that very quickly Just like that. And then of course, we have the opposite side. Like so. And then finally, over the top of the leafy skirt, we're going to apply the Grub Ripper Flash. Just like this. So, with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some wildwood. Now, here's what we're going to do we're going to start up here at the top on this branch that we've kind of done with the Grub Ripper Flash. And up to this kind of corner just here on the branch and similarly on the one back there it's the same sort of corner just there we're going to apply the wildwood and then we're going to blend it out so load up the brush apply this here like this get it all over wash the brush and then Create that lovely kind of smoothed out transition like that. Nice and simple. Then just under here on the underside, 
Got a little one to do, just behind the shield. Wash the brush, and then smooth it out. Otherwise, we're gonna apply this all over all of the rest of the bark. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of contrast medium and frost heart, and we're going to apply this over the top of the wing membranes, the weapon, and the skin, and head, and horns of Druanti. So I'm just going to take this on our brush here, I'm going to start applying this. So with that, and it's looking very blue at the moment, but don't worry, we're gonna be brightening it up a little bit later. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Achillean green. I'm gonna apply this over the top of our bug. So with that Achillean green applied, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna take some Coelia green shade and we're gonna use this to shade the bug as well as the spines. And we're also gonna be doing a little bit of blending here on the wings. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna load up our brush with that Coelia green shade and we'll start with the blending on the wings. And what we're gonna do is basically cover in the whole of the wing and then whip off most of that excess towards the bottom. So we're just gonna go from round about here and we're just gonna start applying this like this, all over the wing membranes. Just like that. Then we're gonna wash the brush. And then we're gonna wick off the excess that we don't want. towards the bottom. Like that. It's subtle at first, but it'll dry a lot darker. So with that done, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna take a roughly three parts contrast medium to one part ultramarines blue. And we're gonna apply this on the wing membranes and we're gonna blend it out. We're gonna do it a little bit less than we did with the Coelia green shade. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna take that Ultramarines blue mix and come down to around about there. Kind of in a straight line across the wing. We're going to wash the brush and then we're just going to smooth it out. So with that now done, we're gonna leave the wings alone for a little bit, um, because what we are in fact gonna do is gonna finish off the rest of the base coats, and then we're gonna do some shading and then we'll take them to the next level. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Black Legion, I'm gonna apply this to any strings. And 
that we have scattered around the model. with that black legion all applied we're then going to take some retributor armor and we're going to paint this over the top of all the trinkets that are attached to those strings so with that done it's now time to add some shades now we've only got a couple and we've got to shade that retributor armor and we've got to do a little bit of shading on the green for example and on the brown so what we're going to do is we're going to first take some skeleton horde and we're going to apply this quite targetedly over the top of some of our green areas so what we're going to do is at the top here we're just going to add a little bit of that skeleton horde going across the branch like that just a little bit like that and then similarly on this branch as well Like so. Then on the leaves, what we're going to do is we're going to basically pick out sort of around about half of them. Like this, quite randomly. So with that skeleton horde applied, we're then going to take some bale tan green and we're going to apply this over the top of some of our leaves up here, like that, a little bit up there, like so. And then on the skirt, again, just like we did with the skeleton horde, we're just going to pick out some of these leaves. Just like this. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Agrax Earthshade and we're going to use this to have a little bit of extra brown and shading over the top of our wood, as well as to shade the gold. So with that done, our Arch Revenant is now what I would call a War Hipster Battle Ready. Now you could leave it here, but we're not going to. We're going to take it to the next level. We're going to do this by doing lots of layers and highlights, a little bit of blending. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down blue horror. I'm going to basically be using this to relayer the weapons, the chest, the helmet, and the hair. So we're just going to start picking out all of these areas so for example, here on the shield, you just want to take the blue horror, start painting it over the top of all the flat areas.
just like this. So with that blue horror applied to all of these details, what we're now going to do is we're going to highlight all of it. And this is going to include the wing membranes as well. And the color we're going to be using for this is Corax White. So what we're going to do is just going to take our small little brush here and we're just going to start picking out edges. Just like this. For example, on the blade, like that. On the wing membranes themselves, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be picking out the nexus points. And that kind of webbing that they have. And by nexus points, I mean, you know, where, where these bits meet. So you just go a little bit past each one. So with that done, all of our wispy bright blue is now done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on and rather than do the rest of those kind of wing membranes just yet, we're gonna do the brown next because this is another quite a large one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down Gorthor Brown and we're gonna use this to highlight all of the wood. This is just for the dark brown areas. You don't need to worry about those branches on the top. Where we did the blending. So with that done, we're then going to take some thinned down Bane Blade Brown. I'm going to use this to add a really narrow, almost spot highlight on all of our dark wood. So with that done, the dark wood is nearly finished. We've just got the runes left to do, but before we do those, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Krieg Khaki. I'm gonna use this to highlight the lighter wood at the top here. Just like this. So with that done, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna take some Screaming Skull and we're gonna use this to gently dry brush over the top of the grass, well, it's not a grass skirt, over the leaf cape. So 
with that done, all of the leaves are now finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some Eandon yellow. And we're going to apply this over the top of the little heart down here. And with that done, we're then going to take some flash gets yellow. I'm going to use this over the top of those details around the heart. So we've got that kind of little bulbous bit at the bottom, we've got this edge, and got this line just here as well, like that. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Temple Guard Blue. I'm going to use this to highlight the dark blue areas of a bug along the wings like this I'm going to be doing this just here as well so with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Canoptec Alloy. We're going to use this to highlight the gold. So with that Canoptic Alloy applied, we're then going to take a teeny tiny amount of Talisar Blue. I'm going to apply this over the top of the gems. So we've got one just here. Like that. And we've got one around here on the back. Like that. So with that done, all that's left to do is these two little runes. So we've got one here and one here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take some Corax White and we're going to drop this into the recess. Just like that. So with that done, we're then going to take some striking scorpion green and we're going to drop this over the top of our Corax white. So with that done, Druanti, the Arch Revenant, is now finished. And he looks pretty fantastic. The only thing left to call out is what colour the skull is going to be. Because that branch there that's coming out and growing in around the skull, that's going to be the same as what we've done on the Arch Revenant himself. So we're not going to film that again. But what we are going to do is we're going to take some Skeleton Horde and we're going to apply this over the top of the skull. Just like this. And so with Druanti's base complete, this Arch Revenant is now finished, ready to, well, pretty much dominate the battlefield <laughs> for the Sylvaneth. It's a really, really strong character. and. I am very, very pleased with this. I think it looked absolutely fantastic. And Adam, I hope you're happy with this. Merry Christmas, mate. I love you very much. And I hope you enjoy playing with this for years to come at the head of the greatest Silverneth Wargrove 
that we have ever seen this side of the mortal realms i'm sure if you enjoyed this video you love the channel and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you you can do so head to patreon.com forward slash war hipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash war hipster alternatively you could become a youtube member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here just like these amazing wonderful people have done and if you really like this video or you just want to shoot me some support you can click on the thanks button just below this video don't forget to share it like it comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date don't forget to click the bell icon thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all very soon in the next one Happy Wargaming.